Hello there. So Ubuntu 25.04 has came out just about yesterday at the time of this recording, right? And uh, the uh, every everyone else, if you check YouTube or you say uh, whatever, uh, you will see that uh, people are presenting the new Ubuntu version as well. GNOME 48 has came out and it has well-being features. Yay. There is another cool thing that you might have not known about Ubuntu and its functionalities, and I'm going to show it to you. So here we go. We are now in my laptop BIOS security and I'm going to do something that I almost never do. I'm going to enable secure boot. Usually people use this just for Windows, but there is one tiny reason why you would want that on Linux, right? So save and exit is F10, yes. Let's go ahead and now press F12 to boot from our USB stick, which will install Ubuntu 25.04, which I have just downloaded. These were some of my previous operating systems that I have been using on this laptop. Uh, try or install Ubuntu, okay. Right, I am going to be up front with you. I want it to be encrypted and I don't want to type my decryption passwords every time when I boot up my computer. Can we do that? Let's find out. There we go. Use hardware backed encryption. Uh, before you choose this option, this may not work with your hardware or future Ubuntu releases. Okay, let's accept this. You may lose all your data without a recovery key. Get a recovery key as soon as you first log into Ubuntu and store it somewhere safe. I understand that I may lose my data if I forget my password, of course, my decryption password. Uh, next, choose a passphrase. Good one. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Next, your name. So this is what the installer is going to do, okay? Here we go, we are ready to restart the computer. Let's click restart and unplug our install USB stick. Moment of truth. Here we go, the login screen is on my end. Let me log in and then switch to this screen. Here we go, initial setup is ready. Welcome to Ubuntu 25. Don't share system data. Next and finish. Let's open terminal here. Make it slightly smaller, bigger. It is fine. Let me zoom in slightly. Oh, 
okay much better now so here you can see that we have a partition locks encrypted right and it didn't ask us for the password to decrypt it while we were booting and this is because the um, the decryption password is securely stored within the TPM chip, trusted platform module. So there you have it. This is, uh, well, one of those cool, neat, practical features uh, that some of the Linux distribution, distributions can do, such as Ubuntu, okay? And um, I, I think it's great. I think it's great. I think more Linux distributions should uh, make this available because typing password is a little bit cumbersome. If someone would steal your laptop, maybe uh, take the hard drive uh, out of your laptop because they don't know your login password, so they cannot really log into your system if your laptop is stolen. They might take your uh, hard drive out or the SSD, mount it somewhere into another computer and mount your data partition, but it's encrypted. They need a password. You don't. I'm going to see you in the next video.